Hi everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel Alter Innovation. In this video we will talk about the manufacturing and how to inspect the truss. Today I'm with Bernard and we're going to talk about the mindset behind manufacturing. Hi everybody. What do you look at when you start a project? When you start manufacturing structural, standard trucks, or anything that is welding and all that stuff? What, what do you start looking at? Okay, I would like just explain you uh, when I'm from to uh, because it's important to uh, to what is my concern right now for for the manufacturing of trusses. Yes, I learn uh, the welding at school. And after that, I, I, I jump on the show business like a musician. After that, I go in a lighting technician. And after that, lighting designer. I work with the truss uh, many, many years in the, the long shift and like you and many other here. <laughs> and I touch, I feel the truss. I know what is the concern about the truss. And for this reason from long time ago when i'm start to manufacturing a truss or custom structure my first concern is safety what? every aspect of the the creation of the when we build a truss it's safety that's the part number one the reason it's 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 because when we go at uh, sound bed whatever the place who we we, we see the client and we see our stuff, we build and when I saw the, uh, the, 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 the riggers on the truss or the star under our things, mm -hmm. every time it's hope, oh, God, it's, it's strong. You know, no. that is my mindset when, when I build the truss, okay? And all the process on this, it's with this mindset because it's easy to sound stuff and usually we don't see the stuff ever yeah. okay but we know the trust it will have a long life and strong and that will be probably in different tough case and yeah. you know that that is my concern about that so from what i understand is with this background you have, safety is really the key when you start a project. It's always being concerned with the safety of any structure, right? And what will be the challenge for the fabrication and to keep that safety? Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll go in the shop, guys, we'll go in the shop and we'll, we'll explain to you what will be the challenge. We have many challenges on the, to, to build a truss and we have the, the welders, we have the design of the truss, we have the welders. Uh, if it's a new welders, that will be different because it will spend a lot of time. Uh, the truss will more eat, and we will have more torsion of the truss. And it's for this reason when we are a new welder, it's it's more longer to 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 have a good truss, and that is very important for us to make sure every welder is qualified to weld the truss. Okay. And when we build a truss, the concern is every time uh, you, you need to strong, you need to perfectly weld it, and because it's over the top and Good. it's uh, over the people, and uh, yeah. And so when you said because of a new welder, uh, it will create more torsion. It's just yeah. because he, uh, he waits, he, he, he weld longer well and it longer. makes the truss go yeah. kind of like this. Okay. Yeah. Cut he eat more and yeah. it weld longer. And the, the, the particular, particularity with the aluminum, it's uh, it, we transferred the heating on okay. the truss. Okay. And we have a lot of torsion if we and we need sequence to build the truss yeah. and to weld the truss and it's complicated because you, you, you cannot start from from this part no. do everything no. and go this no, no. way we need to go everywhere yeah. to make okay. sure the trans the what the heating transfer it's it's great to okay. make sure the truss is not 
move. Yeah, it doesn't bend too much. It doesn't bend too much. Okay, right. Cool. And some of the truss, usually when you're well with the diagonals, this will stay good, but in the middle, it will time to bend more. Yeah, right? yeah. Because of the heat there. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have the, uh, the manufacturing trick yeah. <laughs> to keep that correctly and the truss will straight and okay. that is the experience. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Thank you. So we'll go back inside and yeah. uh, see okay. what's next. So with what we just saw with the truss, mm -hmm. when, when this part is done, let's say it's just it's done manufacturing, now we go to the inspection part, right? So yeah. what, what are the steps when you inspect uh, the truss or any structure after after the welders. Okay, we have a couple of things. Uh, we have the visual of the weldings. Now we see the visual. The visual is is great. Okay, but it's not. That is not the uh, the only thing we need to 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 check when we approve the truss. Okay, uh, the visual is good, but we need to have full penetration inside. Okay, it. It's just outside, we need to have full penetration. And here at Terio Innovation, we, uh, we, we make tests at every number of the truss. We cut a piece and we, uh, we inspect inside to have a full penetration inside. That is the good welding. And we, we, we spoke about security and that is the part of the security okay, okay. it's safety safety it's to make uh, this kind of test to make sure everything is all the time correct okay okay and that is the same with uh, example uh, the grapple or the the rigging point we need to at every piece we need to just destroy a piece to make sure we have we have full penetration inside That's the good piece. Good. Okay, and like we said, we, uh, we inspect the visual, we inspect the penetration of the truss, and after that, for the final inspection, is uh, make sure the truss is in the Terry Innovation standard. Uh, example, uh, we need to, we, we pass the truss in the master jig okay. to make sure it's perfectly straight, and uh, after that, we are ready to send that to the client. Okay, cool. So that's pretty much the basic of manufacturing a truss. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, uh, there's way more details after yeah. that, way more concern, but yeah. this way, you guys, I think with what Bernard just said, you have all more information, more understanding on how the structural works on the aluminum and the welding. If we go with the steel structure, because there is those as well, uh, what is the difference in the in the manufacturing? I, it's not the same materials for sure. No, it's, it's not the same welding. It's easier to uh, to manufacture in the steel. Mm -hmm. Okay, because the steels, you, you, yeah, the torsion is different, and okay. you know, it's different. It's, uh, it's another thing. Yeah, it's very different. Yeah, it's not the it's not the, the trust thinking. No, it's yeah. not the trust thinking. Yeah. Because and the trust thinking is is it's very particular. Yeah. Because it's in element. And it does many things, in a way. It's multifunction, like we said in previous videos. Yeah. So it needs to be well think in a way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean we we could do trust in, trust in steel, but that will be horrible in a way. It will be too heavy. Uh, for a couple applications, it's good. For example, yeah. for huge, huge ground support or true, uh, like uh, yeah, like shows like U2, 360, yeah. Yeah. and uh, but yeah. more it's that heavy structural thing. Yeah, because very heavy. on this kind of weight on it, it's better in steel. Yeah, and you usually in the show business and the standard show business is better aluminum yeah. because it's lightweight yeah he's strong because the design of the truss will make sure he's strong but he's uh, yeah yeah cool so guys i hope you like this uh, discussion with bernard yeah. Yeah. and uh if you have any question as on on this part of the video 
just leave a comment below and we'll see what we can if we if we can answer to you guys or uh, uh, clarify some some things all right so now we're going to cover the inspection on a truss so at ti we have a document that we have is usually seven page and it's everything that about handling assembly and use of the truss but today we're just going to cover the inspection of this document if you want more information or if you need if you want to look at the document just you can write to us and we'll see if we can send it to you so when we go to the inspection of the truss there's a lot of details that we have to look at so this is a truss that we have in inspection right now it's not in bad shape it's pretty good shape but still we have it in inspection so what you have to look at, uh, look at is if you have any cracks in the welds. So you, when you look at the welds, you just have to make sure that there's no holes in it or that the weld is still intact as usual, okay? So that's one of the, the first thing. After you have to look if there is no deformation in the structure, in the truss. So when you look at the tubes, you'll have to see on the side if, if the tube is still straight. You look at the diagonals, if they're still uh, straight, if they're not bent, all those little details. After, if you have to look if there's no dents or like uh, cracks in the, in the main cords. So if you see any uh, small holes or anything in, in the main cords, it is something to be aware. After that, uh, if you have the plated trusses, you have to check if the plate at the, at the end is not bent and it, if the holes are still intact. So this is uh, things to look at. And after that, you have to look if you have steel spigot or anything that have uh, steel or even the aluminium. You just have to check if the zinc or the, the treatment on it is not corro there's no corrosion or there's, everything is still fine. I just mentioned to you guys the general of looking at a truss and this is recommend to be done about each year depending on the use of the truss. If it's a truss that's like really used every day loading, load out, loading, load out and like crazy that could be in a shorter amount of time so six months, three months. It really depends on the, on the use of the truss but in normal that would be a full year. So at each year you grab the truss, you look at it, make sure everything is fine. So, when trusts are damaged, it is really important to stop using them because it diminishes the quality of the product and it makes it less safe to use. So, because if you have a crack, there could, there could be something else behind it and it could create that, let's say, just a tube uh, ripped off of it and uh, you know what happened. If something ripped off uh, it's going down real quick we'll go more specific in the main core and diagonals just so you 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 learn more what is to look at so on the main cords if you see any bend so if you see like a, a curved in in the main cords there's a certain degree that is acceptable but it's very low like very low but if you go deeper than one millimeter in a in the in the depth is bad the main cord is it's scrap if you want if it's longer than 1.5 millimeters same thing again don't use a truss anymore and if you have a cracks if you have like it let's say like a line in the truss if same thing is deep one millimeter bad again and if it's 10 millimeters about a quarter inches long still bad to use the reason why we say it's really bad to use for the main cords because you cannot change the main cord on a truss. Let's say this main cord is is bad. There's like two bumps in it. You cannot. It's not. It doesn't pass the inspection. You'll have to redo the welding, take it off. It's, it's just. It will cost way more than just redo one truss. So, and it's you have to change so many things. It's really not uh, recommend. But if you go on the diagonals, so these ones here, the smaller ones, these are easier to change because it's only 
let's say this one it's only weld at two places so that can be clean and you can put in a, a new diagnose it's not recommended but still it can be done all right so if you need more details on these it's it's on the on the sheets that i show you guys so you'll have more the details on uh what is the right amount or the right measures and you even have that that page here the last page of the documents that I explained so if your the tube is become oval or anything like that okay and even the difference when the diagonals and all that stuff okay so that's that's about the main cords and the diagonals when you look at the spigot what you have to look at it at the holes here you have to look at the spring pins if make sure if they're still in right position if the if the holes like we show you in the last video if the holes are not like stretch because the truss had too much weight same thing here if those holes are still pretty circular you'll have the measures in the document to see and to make sure that the spigots the the let's say for the female one that they're not uh, bent in so or bent out because of it gets stuck in a truck and like the, the spigot gets just bent out you see like this so this is something to look at after that you have to look at if there's no corrosion or anything that could damage the properties of the spigots and crash that's pretty much what it is on the spigots after that on the plated one do we see it correctly yeah so on the plated one it's pretty much the same we'll have to look here if this is bent and if this is uh, bent as well or if it becomes oval it has to stay circular so that's when when you use the boat you really always have to use the washer so it's the you use the boat from this side if the truss comes here you have the boat one wash on this side another wash on this side and you knot it with the uh, i mean you have the truss and another washer so two washer okay so that's very important when you look at the plated trucks that's pretty much for the plated i mean there's more details on this sheet as well to see like what's the the bolt all what's the difference okay and if the inspection is not done regularly that could cause problem because you will not see defaults in the truss so like i said earlier it could fall and it falls quick you know this part when you use the truss after that is very important so i know there's day-to-day -day basis and it depends on people because we know some people don't tend to care that much there's some that care much but it's really important to uh, bring people to be aware of these issues because usually when we maneuver the truss in a truck sometimes we tend to just slide it on the floor and just drag it and put it on the wall so it we it could be fine depending on how you use it but still it's very important to be aware of that and make sure that when you maneuver the truss you don't smash it on the ground or you you, you just gently you grab it and you gently put it on the floor you can still work fast but you just have to be more gentle when you use it this way you'll have a longer use so the truss will will live longer i mean you can do whatever you want but the truss will live less longer if you're not uh, careful with how you you maneuver it and that applies to everything on it so i think that covers pretty much everything on the truss as usual leave a comment down below subscribe as well so if you need more information or if you want to leave a, uh, if you have any question you can contact us i hope you guys like the video what we, we did today bernard and i and it's very important to remember with, with, with what we talked today quality equal safety see you on the next one guys